Hello everyone and thank you much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video I'll show you how you can convert your old Android device into VPN server and how you can connect to it from your Samsung DeX. Let's begin. For this to work we're gonna use a service called Tailscale and more specifically one of the features of the Tailscale which is called Exit Note. Quick TLDR, actually these two images will explain much better. First image, default behavior. You connect into google.com from your laptop or in this case let's say Samsung DeX and your Samsung DeX is outside your home network. Let's say you're connecting with the Samsung text to google.com while you're at school, at uni, at work. All fine, connection happens, but Google will see your public IP address of that place where you're connecting to the internet. So it will be your school IP address, your uni IP address, your local Starbucks IP address. It will be not your home IP address, which is fine, no problem at all. But what if you want to connect to a service that has your IP address whitelisted? For example, if I'm... Um, I need to connect to a client's FTP server that has my home public IP address whitelisted and not whatever I get assigned at the place where I'm connecting to, let's say Starbucks, McDonald's, I don't know, airport or public Wi-Fi spot. This is where the exit node comes in. My Samsung DeX will route all non-tail scale traffic via Tab S6, which I'm going to use in this video to act as an exit node, and then jump to Google.com. So Google.com will see me browsing the internet or their services as I would be connected at home, but not, I can be thousand miles away. I will route all the non tail scale traffic via exit node, tab S6, to google.com. And this way I can connect to, let's say, FTP server that has my public home IP address connected, uh, whitelisted, but my actual public IP address will be whatever I'll get assigned to. How to set everything up is super easy. You need to go to a Google Play, you need to go to tail scale website, link in the description below, and create an account. To create an account is super easy, that's all you need is to have Google account, Microsoft account or just ordinary email and a password. Once you create that, you need to head to a Google Play Store and download the app. Link to that app, you will find the description below. Download the app on all the devices that you want to connect to this network. Once you've done that, run the app on the server, on the device that you will want to use as a server. In my case, it's a Galaxy Tab 6 As you can see here right now, I'm just going to bring that closer. So Tab S6 has the Tailscale app running. So if I minimize and run again. To set this up is super easy. It's actually two clicks, maybe three clicks. Tap on a free desktop here in the right corner and choose Run Exit Node. That is it. My Tab S6 right now is being broadcasted as an exit node. I need to approve that. To do that, I need to jump into the Tailscale website and I can see Tab S6 showing Exit Node with exclamation mark. This machine is requesting to be used as an exit node. Review this from the edit route settings option and you can approve or disapprove that. I'm going to click on the three dots and edit route settings. Click on that and just turn that on. And that is it. That's it. My tab S6 is being converted into an exit node VPN server and I can use it to connect, uh, to, to connect other devices and my tab S6 will be used as a non tail scale traffic destination, if that makes sense. So how I'm gonna use how I'm gonna use that on my Samsung DeX? That's quite easy. What you need to do, basically, first of all, uh, I'm connected to a, my home Wi-Fi. So if I go to Google and I search for my IP, press Enter. So this is my home public IP address, two one seven. I can connect to all the services that has this IP address whitelisted. I can work with a service. I can connect to a client's FTP, Samba Share, NAS, etc. Everything works fine. But what if I'm going to disconnect from a Wi-Fi, go back to Google, and I search my IP. Right now it's 92. I'm on a 4G network, and this is not my home public IP address. So all the services that has my home public IP address whitelisted, I, I get locked out. I can't log in um, because IP address does not match. So how to connect to my exit node from a Samsung DeX? I need to run the Tailscale app, the same in same app that I'm running on inside the Tab S6. And inside the app, I can see the two devices, Fold 3 and Tab S6. I click on the three dots and use Exit Node. Click on that. The top option should be automatically ticked by default. I unticked it. This, as far as I understand, should allow me to access all the other devices within my home network via exit node, but it doesn't work for me. I think I'm doing something wrong. I'm just going to untick that and otherwise it's just going to break. So this is unticked. Currently says to none. I'm going to say I want to use tab S6. Green line shows up saying using exit node tab S6. Great. I go back to a browser. 
please note I'm still on 4G and this is the IP address of 4G network but what if I'm gonna go back to Google and I search for my IP 217 I'm getting my home public IP address while I'm on 4G now I can connect to all the services that has my y, my IP address, home public IP address whitelisted. And I can work with these services, FTP, Samba, like I said, Samba, Share, FTP, and etc. And I can be physically a thousand miles away from my house. And I will be able to use these services in the same way as I would sit at home and do, do all the stuff. A couple of things before ending this video to note. Um, first thing. My Tab S6 is connected to a 5 GHz Wi-Fi at my house. I tried to set this up with a 2.4 GHz, but the performance is really bad. So 5 GHz is a must, or if you your device, your on Samsung, your old Android device do not have option to connect to 5 GHz Wi-Fi, try to connect everything up wired way, basically connecting with the line cable between the router and your Android device. This will help speed up the process and the performance will be much, much better. Anyway, all the links you need to know in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.